Happy anniversary to me. Happy anniversary to me. Happy anniversary to being famous. Happy anniversary to that. Dear Diary, today is my three month anniversary. It's been three months since I became famous. Since the day my dreams came true, since my life changed forever. That means three months to think about the perils of stardom, the pitfalls of celebrity, and how my life just went straight to hell. Oh! None of that happened because being famous is like the greatest thing ever. She was an unknown actress way back in season one. Now she is really famous and her life is much more fun. She's walking the red carpet, even got a household name. Here's hoping she won't screw it up and go back to being lame. Welcome to season two of the Carlotta Botox Chronicle. Wow, three months. I can't believe it, Dave. Life doesn't look anything like it did back in the spring when I was a nobody. <laughs> no kidding. You have a new house down the street from the Kardashians. You've appeared on the Helen Show. I've been on the cover of Time. I'm Louboutin's new brand ambassador. Yeah, and not to mention you're huge in Saudi Arabia. So much change. And so much exposition. Diary, in the course of three short months, I got over my fear of being exposed as a fraud, over not really being a famous artist, and I owe it all to my manager, Dave. You'd be surprised at the wisdom that falls from his lips. Carlotta, remember these two words. Belly button, gas. Okay, so they're not all gems. Carlotta, remember these two words. Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi what? Not what, who. Satoshi Nakamoto, the supposed inventor of Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency. Oh, I've heard of that, yeah. Satoshi Nakamoto has never been seen. No one knows who it is or even if he is. It might even be a bunch of people using the pseudonym. But every once in a while, someone crawls out of the woodwork claiming to be Satoshi Nakamoto. And it's always debunked. Wow, that's crazy. My theory? Satoshi Nakamoto doesn't exist. He's an urban legend, and I think it's the same thing with this new Banksy artist guy. You don't think they exist? I'm positive. So who did the artwork? Who spray painted Stonehenge? Who painted a mustache on Mona Lisa? Who knows? Maybe a bunch of random kids. But I'm telling you, there is no new Banksy until now. You staked your claim. You're the new Banksy. Why? Because no one else is. My mind is blown right now. And if someone comes around and says they are... Who's gonna believe him? Man, some days you're just all savant and hardly any idiot. I know, right? Diary, if this was all make-believe, well, I'm an actress. I deal in make-believe. I decided to treat this as if it was just another role. Once I wrapped my head around that, it all fell into place, and the money-making opportunities just kept rolling in. Aristocracy management, please hold. Aristocracy management, please hold. Aristocracy management. My manager, Dave, was getting so many calls. Aristocracy management, Dave speaking. For sponsorship deals, licensing opportunities, TV show bookings, anything they pitched, we caught. Carlotta, there's a producer in Boston who wants to develop a burlesque show based on your life. It's called the Carlotta Blotox Review. I moved away from Jersey cause I wanted something more I'm an actress and a thinktress and not just some fame whore I'm not just some old skanksy, they say I'm the new Banksy How's everybody doing tonight? You can wind up on Broadway I could be the next Hamilton Or even better, Cats Diary, my dreams were all coming true And yet, there was something missing A kind of hole in my heart and with each passing day it became more clear what i didn't have was someone special to spend my life with someone to share my ups and downs someone i could truly be vulnerable with i decided it was time to find an assistant 
Uh, so, it says here that you worked with Harry Banilow. I signed an NDR, so I can't tell you his real name. Right. And what a good job you've done masking his identity. So, what was the most challenging thing working for Barry Manilow? I mean, um, Harry Banilow. I was responsible for polishing his gourds. Gourds? He collects gourds. Oh, how cute is that? That is like so Etsy. To have sex with? It's a sex thing. Whoa, kinky. Interviewing assistants was a grueling process. Plus, this one time, she had me write all the names of her co-stars. You know, like from The View? I wrote them on little strips of paper. Then she made me put them in her cat box. And then the cat would pee on them? No, then she peed on them. Did I mention she liked to go in a cat box on the regular? Holy cannoli. Diary, this was crazy stuff. I even met the assistant to a top movie star, a total A-lister. This actor was real diva material. On a scale of zero to Katherine Heigl, he was a Christian Bale. He made me smell his armpits before he hit the red carpet. If I smelled body odor, he'd hit me with his shoe. If I didn't smell body odor, he'd make me keep smelling until I did. It was a Total catch-22 of B.O. Jeez Louise, pass the popcorn and tell me more. Diary, this was juicy stuff, no doubt. And I like nothing better than listening to people spill the tea about celebrities. But I had to remind myself, this wasn't tea being spilled. These were secrets. And I had one. I had a really big one. She actually used to make soap from her liposuction fat and gave it as Christmas gifts. Diary, my entire celebrity was created on a lie, a case of mistaken identity. I couldn't risk a loose-lipped assistant finding out. What was I going to do? I had to check in with Dave. Carlotta, is that you? Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Come in. I want you to meet my new client. Oh, how exciting. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, uh, uh, where'd they go? They're right here. Where? Your office is empty. Right here on my desk in the aquarium. Oh. I just signed them. Aren't they fantastic? These are crabs. These are your new clients? It's a hermit crab circus. The world's first and only. Oh, my God. I know, right? Guys, do your thing. Isn't that something? Hey, look at the trapeze. Uh, he's gonna catch the other one. Oh crap, he dropped him. Okay, so you know the act needs polishing. But what happened to all of the directors and writers you were gonna rap? What about the projects that we were going to develop for me? Yeah, remember these two words. Early adopter. This is the only hermit crab circus in the world. When this act takes off, it'll be huge. Hmm. Eh, besides, Hollywood's got more writers and directors than Comic-Con has nerd farts. We'll sign some eventually. Look, Dave, I'd love to stay and chat, but... Oh, look! No one's riding a bicycle! Oh, that is amazing. See? <laughs> I knew you'd come around. Okay, um, listen. I have a meeting with my stylist about my Oscar dress. Cool! I got a meeting with a guy I'm thinking of signing. A Scott Disick impersonator. A Scott Disick? What? Why? Ugh, never mind. <laughs> Darling, I've arrived. It's me. Yaya. Yaya. Oh, it is so good of you to help me with my Oscar dress. Air kiss. Mwah. Air kiss. Mwah. Wee. I knew you were a celebrity party planner, but I did not know that you were a stylist, too. Yaya is everything, darling. Party planner to the stars. Stylist to the stars. Hairdresser to the stars. If it's to the stars, I'm it. Well, I thank you for coming to my new home. You are my first guest. Yes, where the hell am I anyway? It's hotter than an American setting a thermostat in Europe. This is Calabasas, down the street from Khloe Kardashian, where we first met. That's right, Calabasas, the taint of the 101. Now, darling, Yaya doesn't have all day. You wanted my opinion on some Oscar dresses? Yes, over here, a bunch of designers sent me gowns. 
Seems everyone wants to dress little old me. Well, of course. You're the shiny new thing. You are a schoolgirl, and the world is your Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Too soon? Well, here we are. <laughs> I've narrowed it down to these nine. I like them all, but I can't make up my mind. Let Yaya be your mind. Mary Kondo, your brain. Throw everything out that doesn't give you joy. No! Okay. Erasing my brain. Is it blank? There. Done. That was quick. Now, the dresses. Great. Okay. First up is this Christian Siriano. Oh, <gasps> this dress. I hate. Next. Okay, uh, yes. Tom Ford sent me this one, and I think... You think it's the Costco hot dog of Oscar dresses, and so do I. Next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't my fave anyway. <laughs> uh, this one is Stella McCartney. It's Ringo with two broken thumbs. Let's drum up the next dress, shall we? Oh, um, okay. Uh, how about this vintage Galliano? And like a vintage abortion, it's best left to a back room. Alexander McQueen? The Kevin Jonas of Oscar dresses. Dior? I don't, j'adore. Valentino? Okay, I'm actually having an out-of-body experience. Oh, that's good. Because I just died from boredom. Next. Chanel Couture. Ho hum. As in something worn by a hoe. Humming at a karaoke bar in Burbank. Well, this is the last one. Versace. Okay, now we're talking about how sad it is. I had to pluck my eyes out because of this gown. Well, that's it. There aren't any more. What am I going to wear to my first ever Oscars? Don't worry, darling. Yaya will fix this, yes? I bet you didn't know I was also the designer to the stars. You are? And I have an idea for your look. This will be the most incredible dress, but, but shh, I have to whisper in your ear. Because we must not risk spoilers. Plus, those bitches the Kardashians have spies everywhere. Whisper, whisper. Oh, that sounds wild. Are you sure? As sure as Bachelor in Paradise has chlamydia. Just to have your assistant get in touch. Oh, well, um, that's a problem, because I don't have an assistant. How do you get on without an assistant? Who do you throw your cell phones at? Who polishes your gourds? Maybe you know someone. I mean, since you're so well connected. I'm more connected than Mike Pence at a glory hole. What do you have in mind? My needs are basic. I just need someone to manage my schedule and occasionally order me a smoothie. Ooh, so boring, but I may have someone. She's discreet, loyal, very good at keeping secrets. That's exactly what I need. Do you? What secrets do you have, Carlotta Botox? Oh, pff, no secrets. Not anymore. No, no, no. The world knows them all. <laughs> Nothing to see. Let's just move along. Oh, I see. Well, I'll send someone over. She's very basic, which is why I call her Basic Amy. She comes with no surprises. A quality I abhor. But you will like her. Diary. This was probably the most satisfying day of my stardom. I was getting both an Oscar dress and an assistant. It was like adulting, the Hollywood edition. I liked it. Dare I say it, I am rocking this celebrity thing as I always knew I would. Love you for listening. Next time we talk, it'll be at the Oscars. Mwah. Hey everyone, this is Ann Sloan, the creator of the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Stay tuned until after the credits if you'd like to hear a preview of our next chapter. Today's episode starts Samantha Gordon as Carlotta, Trevor Lasore as Dave, and co-star David Allen, Victoria Hansen, and Justin Mayer. It was written and directed by me, co-produced by Laura Lipson, and engineered by Ivan Rivera. Check us out on patreon.com slash Carlotta Podcast for exclusive bonus episodes. Thank you so much for listening. Next time on the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Carlotta Botox! Carlotta Botox! Over here! Over here! Carlotta! Question! Carlotta! 
For an actor, there's no stretch of earth as sacred as a red carpet. Today, I wasn't just sailing down any red carpet. I was on the red carpet. I, Carlotta Botox, was at the Oscars. Maria Mimosa here. We are live on E! with the one and only Carlotta Botox, America's newest megastar. Tell us, Carlotta, who are you wearing?